Let's get this bread. Uh, crab plates get eight feet. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. I'm so proud of myself. 19 Yeah, okay, cool. That's fine. Goodbye. Bye. Yikes! Hey guys, it's Dion. Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to my, my channel. channel. <laughs> We're at the airport. We mm. are two hours away from flying to Sydney, Sydney to see God 7. That's right. The only time I vlog is when I'm going to see God 7. So like that. that's exciting. This is Courtney's first time seeing them since Eyes on You tour, which was August of last year. So it's literally been like over a year since yeah. she's seen them last. Do you want to tell everyone who your biases are? That one. <laughs> And also J-Bomb, King J-Bomb. Also King J-Bomb. And Mark, and sometimes... Sometimes Bam Bam, sometimes, Bam, Bam, sometimes yeah. Jackson, sometimes I Yigong. I really, really want to fight Jin Young. <laughs> I guess I'll update you guys when we get to Sydney because my arm really hurts right now. So we'll catch you guys. Um, also, in. sing Dreamin'. Please, got seven sing oh, Dreamin', it's all we it. want. <laughs> Hey guys, we just got to Sydney. We got to our hotel, checked in, had a shower, and we just ordered Uber Eats. Uber Eats food hall, what did we get? We got kebabs. Plan for tomorrow is that we've got to go buy supplies. We have to buy like sleeping bags and pillows and stuff to camp out. My face looks feral. You just got drink. Oh, on. I did. Oh Bro! my god. <laughs> you are so bad. When we're doing a haul of the amount of money that we spent today, which was. It was too much. We should start with like the actual good stuff. So Courtney and I both got BTS World Lol. We got the same version with the same photo cards because JB Hi-Fi is unoriginal. Courtney got um, spinning top. Uh, my man Jaden, sorry, can we just flex him one more time? Um, flex him out. Oh, what a feast. Wow. Got this Tommy Hilfiger. Did I even say the last name right? Is it Hilfiger? Yeah. I don't now. Jumper. It was really expensive and I shouldn't have got it, but it's okay because I got it on Afterpay. <laughs> we went to Innisfree and we were like, yeah, we're just going to have a look around. Do you think we had a look around? We need to look good for Got7. So I bought two face masks. I got the Jeju Volcanic Color Clay Mask in Refining. Jeju Volcanic Color Clay Mask in Hydrating. I also got a Sea Salt Perfect Cleanser. Aloe Revital Sleeping Pack. Girl was like, if you spend seven more dollars, like you get $70 and then you get a like free gift. And what did I do? Obviously I did that. So I bought a like hand cream so for my free gifts i got green tea seed serum and green tea foam cleanser green tea seed essence in lotion two of two of those i had to get a foundation because like lol didn't pack on next can't stop won't stop full coverage 24 hour matte finish do, do that beauty guru thing and because Courtney's a good person and like the best friend ever, she also got me a setting powder. She got me the Sephora Mattifying Compact Powder. We spent literally like a solid 20 minutes trying to find the like lightest shade for me because I'm so pale, so. And yesterday I actually bought the new feeler shoes which are on the floor somewhere. Hi. So I bought those shoes yesterday. <laughs> Hi. And then we had to get supplies. We're camping out. Camping out for what, Dion? We're camping out on the street for God's seven and we're gonna spend a lot of nights there and I'm not excited to sleep on the street because I said I wouldn't do it anymore. But then God seven said they were coming to Sydney and I wanna be front row, so I'm gonna camp out for a long time. God seven said Dion lives don't matter. Yeah, they don't. <laughs> they, they said Dion lives don't matter. So we got all of this stuff. <laughs> so we got a sleeping bag each. Okay, these are only $12. Pillows each, because obviously, like, we can't steal the hotel pillows. We also got a really big boy blanket, so we're just gonna, like, share this and we'll just, like, get in our sleeping bags and then put this over the top of us. We had to get a hairdryer because our friggin' hotel doesn't even have a hairdryer, so that's cool. Like, literally, like, what was it? 16? Like, $16. But yeah. it doesn't even look half bad. No, why? I got floppy socks because we're gonna be cold. There's pack two, so you can have a pair. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then we went to. Aldi and got food and drinks so we got rip off Powerade because we're not about to pay seven dollars for one bottle when we could pay three dollars for a fake Powerade. You know when Got7 decide to like get us backstage <laughs> then we can get the real stuff. Can they reimburse <laughs> us for this? Like the amount of money that I spent on Got7 in the past year. <laughs> Protein bars. Corny picked um coconut and macadamia. I picked peanut butter and 
chocolate. I've got two bags of chicken twisties because chicken is superior. Anyone that says cheese can actually fight me. Moving on, we got some water because you know we're thirsty bitches. Stay hydrated. This is our whole. Am I excited to sleep on the street? Not particularly. I can't see my hair, so I look bald. My update, guys. We're heading to the venue. Sleeping bags and blanket are in here. Then I have this bag here, which has got like food, portable charges, a jumper in case it gets cold, sweatpants in case it gets cold, and did I say food? Yeah, and water. <laughs> it's midday on Tuesday. The concert is Thursday, and we're really about to sleep on the street for two nights. For two nights. Even though we have early entry tickets. We'll see the fat chick in the white <laughs> handing you a 50. It means dreaming, girl magnetic, and reborn. Please. Oh, sorry, Jack. Sorry, Jackson. We just want to see Reborn and 2, the superior Japanese songs. I want to see The Reason, Bam Bam. Why aren't you singing The Reason? I'm not sure if every concert is doing this. The go with the tickets is that there's early entry GA and there's normal GA. Early entry people paid $400 so we could get let in before everyone that has GA basically and we also get like a free album so if I don't pull a Yu Gi Oh! or Jackson photo card I'm not gonna be happy we think there's between 200 and 400 people that have early entry we're gonna be camping out so we can get to the front we'll update you guys when, when we're at the venue crack it hours have already started it's 11 30 a.m. It's 11 a.m. on the Wednesday. Got sevens tomorrow. We got here yesterday at 11.30. So we've basically been here for 24 hours now. There's seven of us, including like, it's like our squad. So you can you can meet the squad now. Everyone introduce yourself. Oh my God, stop. Um, the other two are in it. Okay, sorry. That's Cass. You can't see me. I can't. I can't zoom. That's Shan. You, you'll know her from Just Two Vlog. That's Courtney. That's Zoe. Are you in the camera? Yeah. And that's, that's Zoe. There's two other girls that are like lining up too, but they're not here at the moment. They went to go charge their phones because they're sleeping like they don't have a hotel, so they're just like sleeping in their car. Whereas we all booked hotels so we can like so we can go to and from. Can you please? leave i'm trying to do setup tour welcome my setup tour guys this is our we look so like we look so dirty zoe's having none of it she's gone she's gone so we have some camping chairs thanks gabby she dropped them off to us six dollars from pw you can get one yourself whole heap of sleeping bags <laughs> air mattresses and this is really <laughs> irritating <laughs> and camper chairs and that's basically it Actually Hey guys, it is the second night of us camping out. I have to talk out quietly because some people are sleeping. Well, technically it's the 22nd right now because it's past midnight. Oh my God. So we, we, we see got seven today. <laughs> Woo. Last night, slept for maybe like two hours. Then today we just tried to pass time. There was basically no one here. And then all of a sudden all these people arrived and so many people were starting shit. Can't wait to make a story time about it. And so we're sleeping here for the second night in a row. I feel like shit, I'm getting the flu. I'm cold and I'm tired and my hands are cold. So I'm gonna go back under the blanket now. So keep you updated. 
Hey, we ready, boys? <laughs> we are going to head back to the venue. Basically, we were there like the entire of last night. I came back and slept for like an hour because I couldn't sleep out there. So I came back for an hour and had a shower. And then we went back. We spent the entire day there. And we just came back to get dressed and do our like hair and makeup and stuff. Now we're going to head back down. It's 2 o'clock now. And we get let in at 5. This is a thing. I'm number one. She's number two. There's been so much drama. And it's been so stressful. But if we get to be close to the boys, then obviously it's all going to be worth it. Um, so we're going to go quickly get food and head back down to the venue. Because I'm hungry and I'm actually going to eat for once. <laughs> Update, we just got let into the venue for the early entry VIP package. We got wristbanded and we're in like groups of like 10. They're gonna let us in 10 by 10. Kudos Bank and Live Nation have been so good with security. They had bag checks, but they also had that thing, I don't know what it's called, where they wave you down. Full body scan to like make sure that people weren't bringing anything in, which is really good, especially considering like all the threats that have been happening lately. Now we're waiting. We have like 45 minutes to like get merch, go to the toilet, get food, get led into the venue in groups of 10. And I'm number one. So hopefully it goes well. Let's, let's get it. See you soon, my hobbies. Uh, this where you're going to go? Where you gonna go? Wanna go? I want to go. Santa Barrier. Santa Barrier. Santa Barrier. Nah, got the. I'm actually gonna start crying. Yeah, I'm, gonna I'm gonna start crying. No running, no running, just slowly walk up. Where I am, guys, I made it to Santa Barrier. I did it. Three days, number one. That's right. I'm a mogul shark.
off and my makeup looks so bad we just got back to the hotel i've always wanted to be barricade and i haven't really oh i was barricade for seoul the second night but it was like off to the side which is fine obviously but i really wanted to experience being like center barrier uh, so jackson walked through the crowd he got like up to towards me i held my like hand out to like grab his hand and then this girl that was behind me. She just completely jumped on my shoulder. And I'm ha I have really bad problems with this shoulder as well. Then he reached out and grabbed her hand. No one was pushing. Like it was actually quite a it was quite a chill mosh, which like I appreciate. But when Jackson went through the like the crowd, it was so it was like it was ridiculous. I had so many moments with Mark. So, Mark, I appreciate you so much. If you guys saw my video from Seoul, you would know that, like, Mark pointed me out twice um, during their second show. And I was like, does he remember me? I don't know. I, I have, like, confirmation now because he, he pointed at me first during one of the songs. I don't even remember what song it was, but he pointed at me first. And I was like... <laughs> during thank you they walked to like the b stage and they were all standing there and mark was like directly in front of me and he was just staring at me during the Ooh, that bit so i was like this and gave him a finger heart and then he did it back and then i was like ah! <laughs> My, like the corner of my eye I could see Bam Bam and Jackson laughing at me I think they were laughing at me because I was like ah, Mark did this to me I bought a Polaroid camera because I know that they take Polaroid cameras from fans and like they take a picture like a selfie on the Polaroid camera during like the encore and stuff Mark came over and he sat like directly in front of me and he was looking at me and he was singing and I was holding my Polaroid camera out for him and then he was like and then just like did like a sad smile at me. I was a bit sad about that. And also we got like cheap flowers, like fake flowers that we were like trying to give to them. Jin Young and Young Jay both just like looked at us and they just like kept giving us like little smiles and like trying to like give us like fan service and stuff. They weren't allowed to like accept anything. Because the security told us before the show that we couldn't throw anything on stage during the encore. So like no one threw anything on stage except for one person that threw a 
Pikachu thing at Mark, which happens at like every concert. Oh my God, Jin Young gave me a finger heart. Let's just talk about that. In Korea, he didn't he didn't do one back. He did the rock on sign to me, but but this time I did a finger heart and he gave me a finger heart back. So <laughs> Yu Yum did. I'm gonna say he he waved at me. It probably wasn't at me, but he was looking at me and he waved. So. I'll take what I can get. I feel like Jackson literally hates me because every time he saw me, he just looked the other way. Jay even waved at me. <laughs> Young Jay gave us finger hearts. <laughs> We're going to Melbourne tomorrow for the Melbourne show, which is on Sunday. We're not camping out for this one because we're not going through what we just went through. We're gonna do some things, have some fun, and then just go to the concert and stand at the back because we just have regular GA tickets. We need to go collect our Uber Eats. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Anyways. God7, I love you. Stan Talent, Stan God7. I'll see you guys in my next video, which will be of the Melbourne show. Peace. I'm out.